After eight years of Justin Trudeau, everything feels broken. Inflation rising faster than at any time in 40 years after a half trillion dollars of inflationary deficits bid up the cost of the goods we buy and the interest that we pay. His carbon taxes, with the support of the NDP, are driving up heat and grocery bills, so seniors have to choose between heating and eating. Nine in ten Canadians now say, young Canadians now say they'll never own a home after housing costs have doubled under Justin Trudeau. Uh, here in Vancouver, and uh, the Vancouver region, I should say, those costs are worse than ever. The reason is that inflationary federal deficits are moving up interest rates on our mortgage payments, and local gatekeepers block construction, driving up housing costs and making it impossible for our young to house themselves. All of this, is, all of this has led to despair. And everything feels broken. There's a 32% increase in violent crime after Trudeau uh, brought in a catch-and-release bail system that allows criminals who are, who've committed dozens of violent offenses to be released the very same day they are arrested out on bail to reoffend again and again. In Vancouver alone, the same 40 people were arrested 6,000 times in a year. That's 150 arrests per person per year. All of them getting out on bail most of the time the same day because of Trudeau's broken catch-and-release bail system, something my government will fix with common sense bail reforms. But there's no question that part of the problem is the opioid and addiction crisis. Uh, just this week, we learned that the overdose rate has more than doubled since the opioid crisis was declared in 2016. This is the result of broken NDP liberal policies that flood our streets with easy drugs but it's also the result of a lack of treatment programs that could be saving lives. Those programs are going to cost a lot of money. It's worth the money, but who should pay? Well, who caused the problem in the first place? Large pharmaceutical multinationals like Purdue Pharma and others brought these opioids into North America, lied to drug regulators and to the healthcare system in order to market these drugs as safe and non-addictive. They even paid bonuses to distributors who successfully caused overdoses. In other words, they were incentivizing misery. These powerful multinationals knew exactly what they were doing, but they kept doing it anyway to profit themselves and their wealthy executives. They destroyed thousands of lives. 33,000 overdose deaths since 2016. Um, roughly 30,000 hospitalizations have resulted with massive costs to taxpayers and obviously massive human costs to, to people uh, across our country. Yet, the Trudeau government has done nothing to hold these powerful pharmaceutical companies and their consultants like McKinsey accountable for what they have done, for the misery that they wreaked and for the profit that they made doing all of this. A poly of government we'll hold them accountable. I will launch a massive series of lawsuits amounting to over $40 billion in claims. We will join British Columbia's lawsuit uh, in order to recover the federal health costs that have resulted from Big Pharma's dirty and disgusting actions against our communities. We will launch a separate federal lawsuit to recover money that the federal government has had to spend on borders, indigenous programs, uh, policing, treatment, and other costs associated with this crisis. The people who profited from this misery should be the ones to pay the bill. It's about bringing home accountability and bringing home hope. We can transform the hurt that they caused into the hope that people need. Behind me, we have hope. We have the people who've demonstrated the courage to be clean, sober, and proud. Their families rallied to them. Their communities stepped up with programs of detox, uh, counseling, inpatient treatment. Neighboring Alberta, they've doubled the number of treatment beds, which has lowered the overdose rate and begun to save lives. In other words, we know what we need to do. We need to get people off the streets and into treatment so that we can bring them home drug-free. And a poly of government will do that. We will sue Big Pharma and we will make them pay the price of a massive surge in recovery and treatment programs that will save the lives of our brothers, sisters, friends, and neighbors.
Hope is possible, but it requires accountability. And a Polyev-led government will deliver both that accountability and that hope. Thank you very much to the incredible people who are here today for your amazing courage. You are now an inspiration to people, to literally thousands of people who are going through what you have survived. You have demonstrated that it is possible to turn your lives around and to live drug-free lives to support your communities and your family. You have demonstrated incredible courage. Let's make more stories like this. Let's help people recover. Let's give them hope. Let's bring it home. Your home, my home, our home, Canada. Thank you.